Hi, I'm Keith with My Powerful Home. I want to talk to you today about AC and DC electricity. Behind me you see a solar panel that is a DC generator. There's also wind generators, micro hydro generators, and other generators that produce DC electricity. Your household uses AC electricity. So we have to change something. And essentially we have to use an inverter to change the electricity from DC to AC electricity. Here you see an inverter. And this will invert a large array to 120, 240 volt AC electricity from a solar panel or a couple of wind generators or another DC generator. And this is very important that you understand this because you can't just plug in directly to DC current and run a vacuum cleaner. Your household will use lighting, uh, refrigerators, and different appliances that require AC electricity. And that's just the way basically the whole country is wired. Although we do have a lot of DC appliances in our home. That would be this laptop for example. And the reason why is it has batteries. Any appliance that has a battery needs to have DC electricity. And that happens through a converter. So this is different than an inverter. A converter converts electricity from AC to DC electricity. And it basically has the converter on the end that plugs into your outlet. Your cell phone may have the same thing. It may have a small cord that plugs into it and you'll notice it has a big head that is a converter it plugs into your outlet. That charges the battery in your phone. So it's very helpful, helpful for you to understand the differences uh, so that you can use them properly. If you're putting in a large array, then you will need to use a large inverter like this, or there are micro inverters, smart inverters, that will invert the electricity from your solar panel and will also keep electricity from going back onto the grid and injuring line workers. So they drop off the production of electricity. There's all kinds of uses for these appliances. You also have a power factor when you change electricity. For example, sometimes you'll notice that a converter is hot or an inverter will get very warm. And that's because some heat energy is dissipated during the inverting or converting process. And that is a power loss or a power factor. You'll see a rating on uh, these inverters that says 95%. That means out of 100% of DC electricity, the net amount I can use is 95% because I lose some in the inversion or conversion process. So we really want to help you to understand how DC and AC electricity works. And if you'd like to learn a lot more about renewable energy and how other, other devices and appliances work that you use at your home, please go to our website. Follow the links. We really want to help. Thank you.